Remember when they hate me? Didn't think we made them? Not everything they used to look at me. Remember when I called you? And you didn't fall through. Now you in your face. good with y'all all right so what are we getting into today so today we're about to be heading out we're about to be going to link up with my boy junior and we're about to be getting some runs in in the turbo Rado. so this should be a good one my boy junior has a ctsv v3 so obviously the v3s are supercharged from the factory i'm interested in seeing what happens uh there's a video right here i'm gonna draw for y'all where I had raced this Chevy SS. It was Cam tuned by my tuner Whipple. Whipple is the same dude that tunes my truck. Came here to get some E85 while I was on the freeway. Seeing this guy over here fun trying to run, run down the... So yeah, me and him gonna, gonna get a little fun run in. We got the SS and the Turborado. <laughs> Should be good on grip. This might be my first run in a Turbo Rado since we retuned it. Should be fun. Alright, heat them bitches up a little bit. Oh right, yeah, we got grip now. We should, guess we're gonna do like from a 50 or something. Take the jump again. Alright, last one. Uh, we out now, we got room. Big gap. I'm interested in seeing how the truck does against you know another boosted car so um i was looking for a ctsv uh hellcat something along those lines maybe a bolt-on v bolt-on hellcat just to get an idea on how well the truck performs that way we can kind of gauge and see like how well this thing performs and how it puts down the power compared to like cars that are decently fast you know so uh, anywho that's what we get into today so everybody be racing the v uh, i got a cool little drive so i'm about to go out here and link up with bruh but today we'll go get some runs in because i know you guys been wanting some action with the la Traca, aka the turborado so yeah no further ado let's warm this thing up and let's go link up with my bruh no it wasn't oh granny broke it granny broke it you broke it Look, oh, you're breaking it more. Oh, Granny breaking Micaiah toys. Broke it. You broke it. Now you got to fix it. Come on over here. You broke it. <laughs> All right, we outie, we outie, we outie. The Turbo Rado. No need to do a rundown. If you guys haven't seen this or it's your first time viewing, make sure you go look at, I want to say two videos ago, I did a full build breakdown on this thing. It'll tell you guys exactly what was done to it. So if you haven't and you don't know, you're unfamiliar with it, make sure you go check that out. All right, so that's the V3 we're about to be gapping. Hold on. <laughs> explain, bro. Huh? Bro, you hella late, bro. Bro, I can explain. Hella late. So the Corvette broke down on the way to the shop. Mm -hmm. And this shit was just being a piece of shit. I can explain. Uh, the V3? I'm ready to beat a truck today. I mean, hopefully. It's a win-win for me. If I keep up with a V3, cool. If I lose to a V3, cool. Nah, like, no one, no one expect the truck to win. You got everything to lose here. He said he gonna blow the doors off this motherfucker. <laughs> I was telling him before the camera came on. And he was, he was, he was just telling me he, you was planning it was all stock. He said this motherfucker tuned on E and shit. Sand the recipe, dick. Man, he tried to sandbag me. Nah, nah, nah. So look. So yeah, I, it clearly, it clearly got an intake on it because stock intake don't make no wine. Nah, so it got stock. It, it's an intake. It does. It's that. It's that. <laughs> that. 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 <laughs> Nigga hitting the rev limiter over there, lying. Who tuned it? I don't know. 
ass. <laughs> Why are you trying to sandbag the truck, oh, though? I, I told him myself. <laughs> you trying to sandbag the truck. Hey, I gotta go put some gas in it, though. Yeah, you gotta go get some E85. Some E25. Mm -hmm. E25. That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> clean, though. V25. That's what it is. V3 so wet. Hey, can we make it even? Can I throw him in your truck so uh, add some weight? You Hell no. Nah. I don't need no more weight. I'm too young. Nigga, we like the same weight. I'm just taller. But how much you weigh? How much you weigh? I don't know. How much you weigh? I'm like 260. <laughs> hey, two, you think I weigh 260? You might. You short, nigga. Bro. I'm 260. 265. <laughs> you act like you ain't 300. I'm 300 for sure. Yeah, you're capping. Oh, he's just, almost 400. He's, trying to, he's just trying to. He's just trying to get a. He's just trying to add extra weight in my car and shit. Probably probably 400. You ain't no 400. Can we add this in the truck too or something? Like, that's going I mean, we, that's gonna help with traction. You think so? That's like 800 pounds. <laughs> you gonna pick it up? Put it in there? I don't know. I got a dolly. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Sandbagging ass. So here we here we are uh, unknown unknown mods. No, we clearly we clearly harder to intake. What you want? You want a 40, 35, 60? 60. He want a 60. 60 to 90. <laughs> 60 to 90. He want that. Ah! I swear I'm letting go of the brakes as soon. Ah! Don't let go. You never know if the truck jump on you. I would be Ooh. sick. Give away tomorrow, man. <laughs> hey, I'm entering this one. You get this away, I'm entering this one. It's over. Look, white, white V, white truck. All right, so if I, if I smoke this, do I get a rematch with the, uh, the black one? He got two of them. For those that don't know, he got the white one and he got the black one. He got the whole yin yang thing going on. You sure you want to smoke with the black one? I do. We gotta see how we do with this go. one first, though. I'm not letting go. I'm going to the whole. I'm, I'm letting go. <laughs> I got I got kids to get home to. I'm letting go. That Cadillac better be bulletproof. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Fingers crossed, man. We don't want to get whooped by this nigga that said he's 400 he pounds swear, in the Cadillac. He swear he's 400. I'm 400. Fingers crossed. Hey, truck. The truck stock too. All stock. <laughs> truck stock. Look, we're here. Look, look. Line ass. Here we go. Well, he got his little E85 fix. <laughs> now I'm about to run him. The La Traca. The V3 Fucka. All right, let's get it. Let's get it. All right, here we go. So make sure these motherfuckers is nice and hot. Got some room up here so we should be good here we go here we go slow it down
can't hear shit I'm talking about. Slow it down again. 60. One, two, three. How you gonna say one, two? Okay, go. <laughs> All right, you won. I won right there, bro. I just won that one. I just won that one. Gap, nigga, gap. That counted. You think so? Yeah, that counted, boy. All right, just like this right here. <laughs> I won too. Oh, look, got him again. Caught him slipping under the bridge. We're gonna be sliding through this high fucking freeway right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you guys seen earlier that the runs with uh, my boy Junior in the CTSV. But I got something I want to show y'all real quick while we out this way. Let me show y'all something. This is literally the old street racing spot in the Bay Area. This is like history right here for years this was like the spot to go to if you were in the bay area when it came to street racing back in the day man i as a kid i used to like live over here like i'm talking about like i stayed on 7th street like we used to actually live in the high rises over here off 7th street so all i would do is like go down a couple blocks and run into the port of oakland but i'll show y'all where where all the runs were if you've watched street racing videos, I'm 100% sure you've had to, at some point, seen this, this location. Look at that. Woo! For my non, my non Bay Area people, this is like probably how I got into uh, the street racing and stuff. Because before I didn't even care about it, I was like hell into drifting and stuff like that. But one day it was just hella late at night and I seen a bunch of cars coming down this way out the window and I was like, I'm about to go down there and see what the hell going on. And that was literally like my first experience when it came to, to street racing was coming down the 7th street, it being like hundreds of cars along this, uh, along the strip. We're almost at the main portion of it where everybody used to be, you know, doing the racing and shit at. Like they put speed bumps and everything down there since then, but bro, this was like, watch, you'll see. And it was like, you see all these lights and stuff out here. So at night, it was like super lit up. It was, we called it, we literally called it uh, Oakland International Speedway. <laughs> That's what the official like slang dub term was other than 7th Street. But yeah, you see right up here, this is like all where they used to race that down the street. Like look how straight this is. Come down here, bang it. Rah! And there used to be cars lined up all along the sides of this. Oh uh, shit, literally all the way down this. Oh! Man, they need to paint them speed bumps, yo! I ain't even see that mother. Uh, uh, uh. Bruh, I just. Man, I 
was just telling y'all about the speed bumps and literally didn't even see it. But yeah, they used to have it marked off. They don't really have it no more, but yeah, like right along here, used to be like literally groove. I mean, you can still kind of see the grooves, bro. These things need to be painted. You can't even tell these are speed bumps. But yeah, it used to literally be just grooves, like an actual legit 60 foot. People used to come down here, race for money. Um, yeah, then this is a, this is the spot back in the day. Just wanted to run y'all through here real quick while I was out this way, bro. Here you go, almost hit another one, but that. But yeah, they put these big ass speed bumps down here to prevent everybody from racing down this way. But, bro, if Seventh Street was open now, well, I'm saying open like they closed it. If they didn't have speed bumps and like Seventh Street was still a thing, like especially with social media and all that, like this spot would be insanely crazy. All right, so time to continue with the rest of the day, or I guess I should say night, cause <laughs> yeah. So we're about to be heading to the body shop right now. I have the new bumper right here for the LS3G, AKA the SSG. I need to stop calling this thing the LS3G. I'm, I'm gonna just call it the SSG from now on, cause you guys should know by now what we're talking about. So here it is, new bumper for this thing. You guys seen the wide body and everything's all painted i'm gonna be showing y'all that today everything's color matched up the last thing we were waiting for was this new front bumper this is a newer style front bumper you guys will see that shortly but yeah let's get this thing to jay let me load this so yeah let me just load this thing up we can get it over there to jay's get this thing painted and then i'll show y'all you know what i'm saying what the the new 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 newness is i mean does it fit eh, is it gonna blow away yeah, more than likely not, so we should be good like this. All right, Granny, what you got to say to Junior? What Junior? Junior that I just gapped today. I just raced this nigga named Junior, you feel me? He had this uh, this CTS four-door, pretty much a four-door Corvette, you know what I'm saying? It was supercharged on E85 and shit. Feel me? He tried to sandbag your boy, Granny, but feel me? Guess what, you, guess what your grandson did? Kicked his ass. I smoked that nigga, Granny. <laughs> I smoked that nigga. Smoked him. Guess what I smoked him in? The truck. The truck. You wanna do a ride along in the truck? You ain't rode in it a long time. It's it's fast now. It's fast now. Everything you got is fast. But it's faster. Oh hell to the no. Let's go. We'll be in there like this. Whoa! A big boat. No, you don't want to ride in it? Not tonight. Let me give you a ride tomorrow. Look, Kimbo telling you to ride in it. Tomorrow, want to ride in it? Go burn a rubber down the highway with your grandson? Like the old times? Where you going? Down on the freeway. We just do a couple, you know what I'm saying? A little, I, I spin the block a couple times. Tomorrow? Granny ride along in the truck? Y'all heard it. Tomorrow, Granny riding in the truck. She ain't rode this thing in hella long. <laughs> yeah, boy, <it's> a surprise. <laughs> All right, man, we outie. <whistles> Gotta get some E85, I didn't kill it all today. <whistles> man, so I'm here getting some E85 and look who I ran into. I just hit him up on Instagram like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm pumping E. Again, but I am. Let me know, bro. Truck versus truck this time. You can see, you can see. Run it. <laughs> give me that 40 roll whenever you're ready for the truck. Digs, bro, digs. I give you a dig in the truck. All right, yeah, we gotta do digs, man. Cause honestly, rolls. This, bro, this, this is, is fair though. We can do roll and a dig. No, but you're still boosted, bro. Solo? Charge, bro. You all wheel drive. I'm rear hey, wheel drive. <laughs> bro, I am. This is rear wheel drive in a truck. Oh man, we got the tire set up and everything. Man. Nigga, you got four radios I on your car. Yeah, I probably gotta get new ones, but run it. I wanna hear no excuse. Man, dig and roll, dig and roll. Nah, dig and roll. I don't wanna hear that. Run it. I got to run it. Look, <laughs> excuses, run it. We content creators. You got a YouTube, I got a YouTube. Damn, I don't wanna fuck up the car. I gotta finish game. Fuck the car, I got warranty on it. Boy, they, they have to pick <laughs> all the like the mods off. Then why you then, then why you pumping E then? Because that's all it runs. It's still tuned to that. That's all it takes. I can't 
can't put 91 or nothing on it if I got the car. <laughs> I'm telling you. Run it. But truck I'm, and I'm, truck. I'm not scared to run it. You feel me? Plus, I got the Z06 now, too. I run that, too. That one, you can definitely run that one. I want all the smoke. Black? What's up, black? Fiberglass? Nah, OEM material. Yeah, poly. Shovel shit. Nah, I'm sweating. <laughs> See? OEM style. Huh. Yep, polyurethane. <laughs> Has a little. Mm. For the for the tootable? No turbo on this. Yeah. Yeah, put it on. It's LS3, fool. Huh? You want to get a I mean, it's a 500 horsepower LS3. Finish looks good. Yeah. I mean, it's an OEM bumper, so it's not like it's an aftermarket polyurethane. It's OEM style. Hey, right, yeah, and here go all the other stuff right here. Here you got a wing, the wide body, the door moldings for the wide body. That should look crispy. Crispy. Look like it laid nice too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 